One way to place items in your room is by using the placement tool. The placement tool is the circle that appears on the left-hand side of your screen in the edit box whenever you select an item on your floor plan. The placement tool will have arrows that goes all the way around it, and those arrows determine the direction of where the next item will be placed. In using the placement tool, you must first select an item on the floor plan. In this case, let's choose the sink base. And when I left click on the sink base, you'll see that the sink base now appears within my circle or within the placement tool, and you'll see arrows go all the way around. If I were to left click on the B12, the B12 uh, appears in the placement zone. Whatever you select will appear there. Now, when you want to place your next item, you will go down to your drag and drop menu, find the item that you want. In this case, I'm going to choose the three drawer base 24. And if I wanted to place this to the left of the sink base, all I would do is click on the left arrow. There you go. I'll click on the undo and let's do something a little bit different. We'll left click on the sink base again, but this time instead of saying move to the left, I'm going to click on the arrow that points down to the lower left hand corner on a diagonal. It's actually, if you look right here, it says a 45 degree angle. I will click the down arrow and it says 3DB24 placed on the angle. And if I clicked on it again, you'll see that it places it again and I can even click the next arrow and you can see I can turn corners and so forth going around my room. It places it on 45 degree angles because I have 45 next to the angle tab. Next, let's say that you have a sink base and you simply wanted to do a drawing and leave a blank space for your dishwasher to the left. Well, underneath of the placement tool is an option called offset. Offset allows you to leave space or skip space when you're placing items. We can go to offset, we can highlight offset, we could type in 24, the width of the dishwasher, and click the left arrow. And if you look right here, it tells you it left exactly 24 inches. So if I wanted to move and go up and take, uh, find a dishwasher, I'll just go to our generic catalog for now, choose dishwasher, and drag it over, you'll see that the dishwasher now fits perfectly.